Today, we're going to talk about the shortest war in history, which lasted only 38 minutes. Yes, you heard that right. Just 38 minutes. On August 27, 1896, Britain declared war on Zanzibar, and the war was over before you could even finish a cup of tea. So, what really happened? Let's find out. To understand the causes and consequences of the Anglo-Zanzibar War, it's important to first look at the broader historical context of the late 19th century. At this time, Europe was in the midst of a scramble for Africa, with various European powers competing to colonize and control as much of the continent as possible. Britain was one of the major players in this game of imperial expansionism, and by the late 1800s, it had established a significant presence in East Africa. One of the key territories under British control was Zanzibar, an island off the coast of Tanzania that served as a hub for trade and commerce in the region. However, Britain's dominance in Zanzibar was not uncontested. The island's rulers, the sultans of Zanzibar, had long maintained their own independent state, and they were wary of British encroachment on their territory. This tension between the British and the Sultanate would eventually lead to a violent confrontation. In 1896, the current Sultan of Zanzibar, Hamad bin Thuaini, died suddenly, leaving a power vacuum in his wake. This sparked a dispute over who would succeed him, with two rival factions vying for control. On one side were supporters of Hamoud bin Muhammad, a relative of the late Sultan who claimed the throne for himself. On the other side were supporters of Khalid bin Bargash, another relative of the Sultan who also had designs on the throne. The British, who had a vested interest in maintaining stability in Zanzibar, quickly threw their support behind Hamoud bin Muhammad, and they dispatched a warship, the HMS Thrush, to the island to help enforce his claim to the throne. Khalid bin Bargash, however, refused to back down, and he barricaded himself inside the palace, which was heavily fortified with machine guns and artillery. The situation quickly escalated, and the two sides prepared for battle. On the morning of August 27, 1896, the British issued an ultimatum to Khalid bin Bargash, demanding that he surrender the palace and recognize Hamoud bin Muhammad as the rightful sultan. Khalid refused. At 9.02 a.m. the British warships opened fire on the palace and the navy. Khalid's forces tried to fight back with small arms and artillery, but they were no match for the British firepower. Within minutes, the palace was in flames, and the Zanzibari forces had suffered heavy casualties. Khalid fled to the German consulate and sought refuge, but he was eventually captured and exiled. The bombardment lasted just 38 minutes, but it was devastating. The palace was heavily damaged, and Khalid and his supporters were killed or captured. Hamoud bin Muhammad was installed as the new sultan, and the British had succeeded in maintaining the dominance over Zanzibar. The Anglo-Zanzibar War had significant consequences for both Zanzibar and the broader region of East Africa. For Zanzibar, the war marked the end of the Sultanate's independence and the beginning of British control over the island. The British would remain in power in Zanzibar until the country gained independence in 1963. For East Africa, the war was part of a larger pattern of European colonialism and the exploitation of African resources. The British would continue to expand their influence in the region, ultimately creating the colonies of Kenya, Uganda, and Tanganyika.
which later became Tanzania. The war also had implications for international relations, as it demonstrated the willingness of European powers to use military force to assert their dominance over African nations. This would set a precedent for future conflicts, and it underscored the power imbalance that existed between European colonial powers and the nations they sought to control. In summary, the Anglo-Zanzibar War was a brief but significant event in the history of colonialism in Africa. It was the culmination of tensions between the British and the Sultanate of Zanzibar, and it demonstrated the power dynamics and rivalries that characterized the era of European expansionism. Imagine to think all that before you have even fished your tea. Even though the war lasted only 38 minutes, its impact was felt for decades to come. It marked the beginning of British control over Zanzibar, and it set a precedent for future conflicts in Africa and beyond. By understanding the historical context, causes, events, and consequences of the Anglo-Zanzibar War, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities of this period in world history, and the lasting effects of colonialism on the African continent. Well, now you know. If you liked the video let us know, if you have any thoughts share them below, and don't forget to subscribe so you can always learn more fascinating facts about our wonderful world.